Cisco is a 20 year old uh, paint gelding. He's uh, got a little bit of navicular uh, calcification in his tendons, makes his feet sore. Um, off and on, it does help him to move a little bit. Sometimes he loosens up and moves pretty good. Um, here I'm asking him to just lower his head and take the bit nicely, um, which he does fine. Uh, we're using a Rockin' S snaffle today, which he seems to like just fine. I'm asking him to lower his head with a rain cue here. Just uh, I'll use this when we're riding a little bit. So there he's got it. I'll just start out walking him, see if he feels like he's limping. Um, ask him to lower his head there. That's uh, I'm asking him to lower his head with that rain cue. Um, he's had a habit in the past of bracing and hollowing out his back and raising his head, and so we've worked a little bit on head position. But he seems to be walking fine both directions. So I'm going to very gently urge him up into a trot, and believe it or not, that's a trot. It's a very slow trot. I think partly it's just he needs to loosen up, and he'd rather trot slower. So here he's going a little faster. And now that he's going a little faster at the trot, I'm going to ask him if he wants to canter. And I'll just ask and see if he feels okay and, and wants to pick up the canter. So here he goes. Picks up the left lead real nice. I actually cantered him about six rounds, but after about the fourth, I asked him, invited him to go back down to the trot, and um, for a while he just preferred to canter. I think he's a little more comfortable at the canter than at the trot, maybe. But you can see he's cantering nice and calm. He's keeping a decent headset. So we'll let him go back to the trot. Get a nice stop here, softens his head, takes a step backward, we can be done.